Hello, Rangers and Strangers, and welcome back to Cassettes. Last time, Lethal actually recorded a video instead of a black screen. So that we have that to look forward to. Let's go ahead and get some out. We also uh, beat up another Archangel, which, you know, is kind of the main quest of this game. So we're down. <laughs> we've actually taken out four, but we've taken out three that aren't Morgante. Hey! You got any new things? Do have new things. They're all garbage. Stony look, I can't really use. Echo locates great. I'll, I'll take a couple of those. You've seen that in action a lot. And there's a reason, it's because it's really good. <laughs> well, you got them. I see. Um, put them all in a bag, sir. Automation, chance to use the next move in the list for zero AP at the end of the turn. Just every turn. That can be really stupid. Really stupid. I think the chance also depends on how much AP the move costs, so you're not going to be using stuff like last rights too often with that. But something like dodge, you might be using a lot. I don't think I saw anything in there I really want, right? No. Sandstorm. That... Actually... That could be really stupid against Gambit teams. <laughs> Let's buy one, shall we? We still have some stuff and things. Any, anything that requires, you know, counts on walls or anything counter-wise, that could be really stupid. Now, I have a question. Can any of you motherfuckers... That's right. Can any of you motherfuckers learn? Me? The answer is no. It's a terrorist. How about our Pokemon? How are they doing? A couple of you freaks can actually uh, be remastered. And that's what they are, the freaks. Anyway, let's see what kind of special stickers we got. Evolution, I think, is what we were on. Got two uncommons. We got a plastic knife. Oh my god. Hits multiple targets, but 9% more damage. Oh my god. We also got more. We got plastic coating. Great. All these codings. Can I just exile these from the universe? I don't want these codings. It might be something if I was going for a strategy that maybe depend on that being a thing. So, oh wait, there's something going on. So you're like a dog. Arf! But you can use a cassette player to transform into monsters just like the rest of us. Arf, arf! Are you some kind of like Magical talking dog from another world? Arf. Hmm, I guess not. Nah, it's just a regular garden variety barking dog. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a quick break here. I actually need to rest to make this happen. Kaylee engages you in an enthusiastic discussion about your favorite dog breeds. I had a comment about when this came up last. Watch Lethal's favorite dog breed, Hot Dog. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go ahead and level up Jump Kick. Becomes a Beanstalker. Depending on when you level this thing up, if it can become this or another type. A Jump Kick that has developed malicious, a malicious personality. Now with a fully formed body made out of vines and plant matter, they love nothing more than to chase terrified victims with an axe, which they got from the hardware store. Come on. The Macabre. Comes the Folklord. A fully matured macabre, uh, the Folklord wears a skull like the kind it used to perch with upon, which is now molded into its head. Its arms and upper body are just so dense with muscle that it cannot support itself on its legs for very long. It's like a gorilla. Not traffic ram. Choose the specialization. Let's try melee defense. Comes a lobstacle. Lobsicles are docile and patient creatures. When retracted into their plastic shells, the heavy lobstacle is almost impossible to move or overturn. Neat. I was gonna say, you're gonna bring up my stuff, thank you. Appreciate it. Go ahead and put that in the storage. Folklore, you can go in the storage. Lobstacle. You're adorable, but go in the storage. And let's go ahead and get some stuff out. We had another bootleg I would like to level up, which was our squirely here. Of the wind variety, and what else do I want? Uh, bring a star to grade, that could be stupid. Uh, what else do you want? I can't remember. 
Well, I know we can catch those. I don't think we can catch a collectability. Let's take a collectability with us. No, wait, that's another wind time. We don't want to do that. Uh, let's take our Masquerade. He can still learn. And he can use some interesting abilities. So let's go ahead and look at those abilities. Or at least look at our stickers, so maybe we can apply them. We did get those automations, that's right. I should use those. Automation Uncommon. Let's go ahead and use that on our kid. So this broadcast I've had on there, that's kind of worthless. We're gonna go ahead and replace that sticker. I thought I could actually use that to apply multi-target to another teammate, like Blossom Eye. It's not that particular ability. I know there's an ability like that, but for some reason I just can't remember what it is. Anyway. Automation depends on something being in front of it, so let's go ahead and move the sticker up here. So now I have an automatic chance to dodge more every turn. I could use that on Lightning Wall or Unicast or a bunch of other things, like Echolocation. I think we'll use on what we have. It'd probably be for the best. Unfortunately, not everyone can use automation because of reasons. Maybe they're opposed to it. Start it. Put that on you. Who can use... Oh, no one can still use Sandstorm. That's unfortunate. What about Peekaboo? You can learn Peekaboo. That's a great move. Deja Vu. Multi-Strike's not really that great. I don't have a glut of AP to make that work. But Peekaboo. Anybody can make that work. Who else could learn Peekaboo? Robot can learn Peekaboo? Is that better than any of your super skills? Uh, not really. You have that smack. Probably put that on my dude. Hey, okay, our kid. What about Airwall? Who can learn Airwall? You can learn Airwall. That makes sense. Learn Airwall. Hematize. Oh, yeah. Uh, I want... You can learn Hematize, too? We, have, we do have to. So everyone learns Hematize. Because <laughs> it's stupid. Multi-smack? Do I want Revenge Strike? Rin Strike's not that important. Not that important. I could also have gotten rid of Trip, but whatever. Uh, Gold Evangelist can also that, huh? And you're pretty good. Pretty good. You can, <laughs> you can do Hypnotize every turn. Possibly. Maybe. So many fun things you can do with this. We dare to put this on? You can learn that. Not that it really matters. Or into water attack, can anyone learn this? Strangely enough, I can learn this. It's a range attack, which really isn't my thing. I can't really do that. I need to find stuff that actually scale with speed. They do exist. I've gotten them in, the, in my off screen, and I would like those. Uh, let's go and apply this to you. You've been using that other Splinter. Do I want to get rid of Splinter and put something else on? Oh, yeah, you can't use automation. Go ahead and use that one splash damage. Right back here, oh, no one else can use this. That's just unfortunate. Anyway, what are we going to do now? Let's see. We have that there. I know of a couple of other captains. I know there's one down here. I think we're going to go fight him. Okay oh, you got something to tell me. Oh. My favorite radio show is Sybil FM, hosted by Captain Sybil herself out in the marshes. Alright, that's another captain. Do you have any other captain knowledge for me? Any captain knowledge in here? Wherever we no? Okay. Well, we'll go find a captain down here. I'm trying to remember what the heck his abilities were. Anyway, let's just keep zip zopping. All ready to go. We're all ready to go. Pull this garbage. Hmm? Blah. Burp. Burp. Hello. Phew. Boy, the offworlders really have a, make a lot of stuff, don't they? Greetings. Says Captain Skip. Greetings, I'm Skip, one of the ranger captains here in New Wyrule. I gather and sort all the stuff you offworlder, offworlders bring, and will actually make, ends up here. Electronics, furniture, you name it. It all gets washed up here and then put to good use. 
One world's trash is another world's treasure, after all. Say, you're the new ranger trainee, right? The one who's got a knack for fighting. I suppose I could take a break from my dumpster diving if you want to take on my challenge. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Try to have fun, but don't get too disappointed when I beat you. Oh, you. You think you're going to be Here we go. the ultimate lethal? So they're metal types. They're getting a starting AP. They have one... One Pokemon on the belt. Let's go ahead and bring out, what do I want to bring out first? I think Lightning Wall is probably going to be best. And I would like you to put some people to sleep if you could. Or should I have you leave stuff? I I'm becoming more ha more happy with sleep. I need to just have more sleep uh, in general, right? Sleep. There we go. First turn sleep, not too bad. No metal wall for you, my little bastard. Are you going to put a metal wall on him, huh? We'll see how well that works whenever I do one of these. And you can try to put the other one to sleep. So about your wall. I hope you didn't enjoy that too much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no tulpas. No invasion. These damn bin baiters and all their bin puns and their clear, uh, you know, references to British comedy and sci-fi. Either way, let's go ahead and do another one of those. That one pretty cool. And I want you to go ahead and put a leech on this gentleman because he's not out of the fight yet. And you got some stats on you, friend. Ah, conductive. <laughs> You, do, you don't get a chance to see it in action so much when I'm playing here, but when I can. Oh no, he's gonna sleep at me. Oh boy. I'm gonna summon a Tulpa. He did, in fact, summon a Tulpa. You're not supposed to do that, it's cheap. Summon a Tulpa. And this. In this area code. Let's go ahead and put you back to sleep. Or at least try to keep you asleep. Not dead yet, but he might be after this turn. You're definitely dead. There we go. Double kill. Spits on my wall. You're doing well. You're doing well so far, but no promises that I'll keep going easy on you, though. Dude, you really haven't even done anything yet. All right, I need to put up a metal wall. This is a Binterloper, which is a plastic bag. Let's see if we can put you to sleep again, huh? Just gonna get rid of your wall. I'm not terribly concerned. You're putting up a wall yourself. Lethal tilts his head quizzically like a dog. I, I guess you can guard the tall up. Go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> Hey, I automatically did dodge everyone. I was wondering what happened there. Cool. <laughs> All right, so if I attack him with electrical attacks, he's gonna get static, which uh, we don't want. That would be unfortunate for us. I think wind's gonna be pretty all right. Let's bring out square, shall we? And as for you, what do I want you to do? You've already put him to sleep. I could change you into something more effective. Or you could just slap him until he's dead. Or you could do New Leaf and get us more stuff. Let's have you slap him. The wall adjusts itself as I come out there. I've been poisoned. And he goes away. Uh, well, that wall was well spent HP, my friend. All right. Oh, you don't actually have a whole lot of stuff. Oh, well. Let's get smacking. Whacking, smacking. Let's go ahead and leech. You gonna summon another Tulpa? No. <laughs> it's like a 1% chance to do that, so it's really impressive when they do it. All right. Well, let's just keep whacking and smacking. You can go ahead and he's about to wake up. Let's make sure, we'll try to keep him. What the fuck? He pops his little head out of the bin. is so fucking broken. So 
so broken. Let's keep poking. <laughs> and you can go ahead and put Scorch on him. We're getting some good rolls too, which is helping. It's only a 50% chance. Whack, smack, smack some more. We should get him this turn. There we go. Shots for the win yet again. All right, we get the star. He gets a special metal chop, which is based on his range attack. My good. And the new leaf, we already have one of those. Meditate, you can now go to bed. 21 metal from this gentleman, goddamn. God damn. Wow. Wow, you really trashed me good, huh? I maybe I underestimated you, outsider. You exceed my expectation. Here's your reward. Yeah, he's only number two. Because he's shit. <laughs> anyway, we get a bimbitation, which uh calls help from the mothership. You can also get the uh, another attack that does damage based on how many bin baiters are on the field. It's kind of it's a very niche ability. As for me. I should get back to sorting out all this stuff. Do people from your world need to <laughs> really own this many things? <laughs> I can't imagine that kind of life. They're ever so fortunate. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Curse me. <laughs> I just eat myself in the water and drink. Well, let's go see what we can get up, get with that metal, shall we? And then we'll try to find maybe another captain the boy. Because that was a boy. Oh. Well, Floatstein. Can't remember what his voice was, so it doesn't really matter. And that concludes my report. Our hydroelectric generators are fully functioning. We might need, need some new parts in the next couple of years, but small stuff. I'm sure that Captain Skip can probably find them. Not bad. Not a bad state of affairs for the time, then. Well, thanks for your report there, Levi. It's a miracle that we have things, have running water and clean energy at all. I mean, we're even running green here. I worry sometimes that things could change. This island is unpredictable. <laughs> ah, don't stress about it, Captain. Even if the harbor town's fortunes were to change, the rangers will be here to make the best of it. Thanks. Thanks for saying that. You're right, of course. Alright, bye everybody. Alright, let's buy a wild card pack. Automation, my goodness. Effect chance for empty slot. That's really tempting to do extremely stupid stiff stuff with. It's like, okay, how many spots do I need? I need to have like eight empty spots. Seven maybe would be good. Seven empty spots, and then I can have like that effect every turn. Plus the 12%. <laughs> that could be really stupid. Um, I might as well put that on. Unshakable, you cannot be flinched, which is whatever. Zoomies, Echo. We've seen Echo plenty. It's one of my favorite abilities. Still looking for that guy's winged rabbit. I don't even remember what that one was, so it must not be that important, right? Anyway, do we need to rest after that incredible action-packed action? I mean, we could. Might as well see what's in store for tomorrow. Save some money. Hmm. Oh, I've been having a bit of a think recently. I've spent some time processing my feelings over Morningtown. So much of my time was spent trying to make people happy. In fact, I spent a lot of my time trying to please people. I think maybe I still do. It's all well and good, but maybe it's good for me to think of what I'd like to do as well. Otherwise, I might burn myself out. There's nothing, there'll be nothing left of me. Well, what kind of hobbies do you, uh, do you want to take up? Well, I'll have to think about that. I do feel that when I was younger, I used to have much more passion for things than I do as an adult. Is that normal, viewers? I have no idea. Tell us in the comments. Did you know that I used to play guitar? Same as my dad. My earliest memories are of me sitting on his lap, listening to him play. Well, how did he fit both you and the guitar in his lap at the same time? Was he like one of those big One Piece characters? Oh, very carefully, also he was as large as Whitebeard he was. I brought my own guitar. I bought my own guitar in my teens, but I never was particularly good at it. I guess I gave up because I feel that any hobby 
should probably amount to something eventually, and mine wasn't amounted to anything. And well, I wasn't destined to be a professional musician. So what was the point of doing it at all? And maybe it's not the right attitude. If you really had any passion for guitar, you know what? You're right. It is a shame that I gave up. I should be doing more of me stuff. And, and I, I, I shouldn't even have to do with anything productive. Maybe I could sit in bed all day and just read really awful romance novels. That, that's what I should do too. That's the spirit. <laughs> hey, find some alien lethal chat. I feel good when I can. Feel good that I got this off my chest. After all, we've been fusing at least, you know, three or four times in this year's video game, haven't we? That's something of a bonding experience, if anything. I'm pretty much finished up with me cup of tea. What do you say? Shall we get back to it then? Indeed. 15% strength. Like I use fusion so much. I'm going out of my way to even show that stuff off, to be honest. You have less action economy as a fusion. That hurts me. Hmm. I was speaking to Mayor's Piper earlier. You know the lady who runs the farm over the over at the creek? She reckons some landkeepers have set up shops somewhere near far. It's worrying, right? The farm supplies most of the food for the harbor town. If the landkeepers got control of it, they charge for food. We get all that stuff for free. Alright, so they're right over there, huh? Maybe we'll check them out right, right now. I wanna bully some landkeepers, but first we gotta see what's in the stores. Hey! I'm still looking for the stuff I want. That's all poop and feces. Roll again is pretty neat. Although it's random, so I don't want to randomly like use a wall or something. <laughs> Breathing technique. I could use some of that in real life. Not be inflicted with berserk, with that lever. Stash resistance. That could be really good for our opponents. <laughs> Thankfully, none of them really have that. Dual wheel. Uses the next move twice in succession if you have enough AP. We get a couple of those. Who can use that? We'll check in just a moment. I don't think I've really used that. Stab in the dark. That could be good if you have a certain kind of build. Radiation breath. That's pretty good. It's two to six times. It's a little excessive. Anywho. Uh, invitation. Do a wheel. Can any of you motherfuckers? I can. Do it. All right. Assuming I have enough stuff, what would I like to use twice? Unicast. Charge. Automation. <laughs> Automation. Dodge. You can put it there. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to think about this one. What about you, Squirely? You don't really have a lot of stuff you can use. Yet. There's certainly some things I could do there. I use smack a whole lot. Let's replace that with this for now. That way, if I have enough to enough to do two charges, I will do two charges, and that would be pretty great, right? All right, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into over with those land stocks. Let's go ahead and use the fast travel. This is going to be faster. Yum. Oh, land keepers, land stalkers. I call them land stalkers, don't I? That was a land stalker. Is that some kind of land rover? Probably. Either that or it's an enemy from Fallout. A lot of fusions just kicking around these days. I don't need to save. I'm too badass. Also, we are we are leveled up, right? Yeah. We're leveled up, healed up. What up, nerds? New Rival will experience such growth with a regulated housing market in place. With a regulated market, house market in place. There's no need to fight progress. That's where you're wrong, kiddo. You're level 41. Alright, we have Scampire, we have Kingrave. That means we need to throw out Metal Wall. And I want you to have two tanks. I'm gonna play this safe. I need to kill you first. You're gonna be the most obnoxious of the two. Well, you're probably the easiest to kill. I'm more fusion if I feel, you know, danger. Yeah, 
yes, yes, I know you want my blood. I need to get a metal wall with increased duration, guys. Because I can't be casting this multiple times in a single turn. Or in consecutive turns. You know what I mean. Go ahead and get Leech online, because apparently I'm going to need more life points. An automatic dodge would be great, by the way. Because now I'm going to have to do my metal wall again. People keep trying to kill me, Ball Fat. Alright, go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> Please. Might be best to fuse here just so I can get those all those metal walls put into one uh, one thing. Okay, that was not the the worst attack. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fuse here. Lethal shakes his head. All right. Oh, we can't fuse yet. Well, there goes that plan, huh, asshole? That's fine. We don't need it. We don't need it. You need it. Uh, what do you want to do here, Lee? Well, you're having a hard time bringing him down with this. Sleep. Go the fuck to sleep. Also, I should have just beaten him. Come on. I guess, you know, this is the other side of getting all those lucky sleeps earlier, right? All right. I'm tired of you guys doing this. I'm going to dodge. You're not going to hit me, okay? Wink. Wink. I'm winking really hard. That means that you're not going to hit me. We're going to have pies and cakes. I'm also going to smack you. Keep being a dick. People look at the beers at home. Why had I dodged? Good. Dodge wasn't a complete waste of my time. I appreciate that. All right, Skell Evangelist, do I want to bring you out? You're probably the best choice. Let's bring out Masquerade. Masquerade. We can put some fools to sleep or reduce their ability to hit. Put you to sleep, hopefully. Leech on to you. This man will not go to sleep. Woof. That was one shot in my butt right there. This guy cannot miss. Alright. Peekaboo. I'll do that before I perish. Uh, in addition to that, we're also going to scorch you, okay? Are you going after someone who's not me? What's the occasion? I was on the ropes. Arf. The snake barks at the man. Makes it harder for him to hit. Fantastic. I love it when things actually work as they're mechanically designed. I should have done Unicast, probably. But Unicast is not, not as effective as people. It could poison you. They'll give you poison, plus they'll give you poison contact damage. Is that worth it? Yes. You'll be fine. And we'll go ahead and re-leech you since you have a second tape. They actually got through that metal wall. I forgot how many counters they had when it started. There you go. You got three dots on you now. I'm going to take, ow, a lot of contact damage. Probably get killed here. Get killed. Ow, ow. Everything's fine. Vengeful curse. Now I'm dead. Now he's just gonna speed me down. I can new leap out of that though. It made me flinch, which is a dang move. Need you. Now he's a Queenix. Is she gonna gambit though? That's the real question. Do I want an elemental wall? I think I will. She's gonna gambit. All right, you know what the you know the uh, the drill on this. I 
wouldn't be surprised if she takes Kaylee out here, though. Being real fast and loose. There we go. I'm safe, and that's what matters. Well, we may actually use something on Kaylee. Let's hypnotize. Let's see if you can get healed up. You can probably endure the hits. Life absorbed my wall. Good job, jackass. Ugh. Ah! <laughs> those, those dots just eating away at her. I know it can happen. Do I dare the dream, the impossible dream? Do you have dodge? Do you have peekaboo? Let's peekaboo you. And then let's go ahead and sleep for you. I want you to die. Ah! That was not that great, actually, all things sincere. Found my wall. Kaylee again in trouble. Ah, there we go. Finally, sleep triggered. When she's almost entirely dead. That's fine. Go ahead and rewind your butt. Butt rewound. Uh, and you can go ahead and do something. Why don't we just go ahead and get some stuff on you? Ow. There you go. Man, you are kicking like a horse. Alright, I need you to be hypnotized. Or not hypnotized, I need you to first be peek -boo. Be boo then be slapped. Oh, she's still hanging on. I thought that got her. Whew. All right, I guess I am asking for too much for you to be successful, but it would be nice. Hematize, what do I want you to do? Do I care if you get hit this turn? Probably not. We could see some more interesting gameplay if you do go down. Well, I went down. How about that? It can happen. Also, we peekabooed him. He didn't give a flip. Now he'll give a flip because he's going to fucking die. I'm going to kill him. All right, everybody. Go ahead and damage roll your butt. Let's go ahead and leech your butt. And then we'll scorch your butt. And all hacks will be performed on your butt. Those are the rules. That's a good damage roll. <laughs> Skill Evangelist. Obviously very powerful. Uh, bone Cannon or another one of these? Let's do, give him another damage roll. Actually, no, let's go ahead and give him a Bone Cannon. Scorch. Vengeful curse. Oh my goodness, he's made he's covered me in glitter as a parting act. And also poison me. We're now scorched no matter what form you take. <sighs> Kaylee again just <laughs> defying death. What an absolute stuff. Uh, what do I want you to do? Unicast? Unicast. You I would like to get healed up, okay? You can play it fast and loose. You don't have to play it as fast and loose. Woke up. That damn rip tear is very quick. That'll help. All right. Bone can or one of these? Nine times twenty. Yes. Well, let's see if I can put him back to sleep. That hurts. Let the fans attack on my plant type Pokemans. You got glittered because I do glitter attacks now. Landing a glitter type attack covers the target with glitter, causing them to become glitter types themselves. Glitter is such a bullshit time. And this is our first time seeing it. Now your sleep time. <laughs> right, let's keep damage rolling you. And let's go ahead and leech you. 
Only a five. I'm no longer glittery. Now if I hit him, he'll become a uh, he'll become an electric type. If I use my electric type move. Which can be good. Well, we had some struggles there, but really not the worst battle we've ever had, considering we are, you know, less than their level. Those can tell us about this anyway. Hitting a glitter type target with any element other than glitter uh, causes it to change type to bad attack. So there's all sorts of bullshit you could do with glitter to make it more interesting. We got ritual in common, whatever. We got broadcast. That's not bad. Not great, though. Hibernate, desperation. Yeah, we had some desperation on that last nice. one. Nice. Dude, I got again, once again, I keep forgetting how to be Irish. I'm also listening to a motorcycle outside. Jujin will be happy to hear that we sent these clowns a packing. We sure did. Let's pick up their fusion material. And let's go ahead and head back. <laughs> because we've got our butts whooped. Even though we were victorious. Damn, man. Well, I have to step outside first. Let's step outside. Another longer episode for you folks. I hope you enjoy. Let's see if we can get one last bit of wisdom from Kaylee here. Kaylee tells you about the various ventures. The ventures. My goodness. The tapes and your rectum have been repaired. Next time. Will it get wrecked again? Find out then. Bye-bye.